Hey everyone, Arian here. So, I figured I'd do another update video, but this one is different because it's something I strongly believe in. And this right here, this is me when I basically just woke up, and it's me. So, yeah. Um, pretty much this video is about anti bullying and how words could hurt, pretty much. So, I figured, why not? If you want to make fun of me, go ahead right now. It's how I am. It's what I look like. Go ahead. Like, this is me before I get a little perfect. It's not perfect. No one's perfect. But before I try to be perfect and try to make everyone want to be my friend or make someone want to just like me, for me, not for me, but for who I'm trying to be, like... This is who I am. So this is me after. I just pretty much spent some time putting on makeup and getting dressed. So I'm not in my pajamas anymore. But figured out show you guys. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm missing one thing. I don't know if you can tell what that is. Okay, well take a while to guess my weight. If you guessed hair, you're right. So this thing. Mannequin. Weird mannequin, but my hair. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put that on and I'll be back. Oh, can't say bullying. That's what I'll be talking about today. Um, when I was little, um, obviously, as you saw before, I was born with a skin condition called exodermal dysplasia. And I used to be picked on because of it, which I think is ridiculous, but, um, I got my first wig when I was in 5th grade, I told you in the last video I made about the actual skin condition, but um, before that, like I didn't have it, I didn't have like the wig or anything to make me look like everyone else and all the other girls over there, and I was fine with it, like I didn't get picked on or anything, but one day I was like, I feel like I want to know what it's like to have hair, I want to know what it's like to just go out there and be like everyone else with the hair and everything. So in fifth grade I got my first wig and everyone was really, oh my god I love your hair, blah blah blah, which made me feel good. But throughout the years, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, whatever, I, I don't know, something happened. I don't know what it was, but people would just make fun of me. and. Uh, it really got to me. People would say like, you're bald, take off the wig and all that stuff. Like, like I'm different and everyone else is. But being picked on, it just made me feel like dirt. Like I didn't belong here. And I know I do. I'm different. Like that's the only thing I would think about is how different I am from everyone else. Like it's, it was hard. Like it still is to think about it. But now in my, in my life, it's like, I'm fine with it. Before you go picking on people, like, put yourself in their shoes. Like, you don't know what they're going through. Like, say, there is a... I'm not... I don't feel like... I don't want to do, like, stereotypes or anything. But say there's, like, a goth girl over there. You don't say that she cuts herself and she, like, she wears all black and she's depressed all the time. Like, yeah. She can be. It's her... It's how she is like if she if she is then that's fine but she it might just be her trying to be cool because she doesn't know who else to be in her life like you don't know what's going on in people's life like say like me I have a skin condition like you don't think I'm a stuck up little bitch or whatever like you see me as skin condition you don't see me as like a nice girl that everyone wants to be or one of the prettiest girls out there, like, no, you, all you see is a skin condition, if you even know I have a skin condition. Like, like say, you, there's a fat girl over there, what are you gonna make fun of her because she's fat? Like, no, you don't do that, like, that hurts. Like, she's probably over there starving herself just to be skinny. And I recently watched Demi Lovato on the 2020, and that's really inspiring, like, like, you can think that someone's perfect and, like, someone has, like, a really good life. But then, you're totally wrong. Like, Demi Lovato, you think, like, she's perfect and you think that 
she's gorgeous and she has, she's confident, but really, she's not. Like, she was picked on for being fat when she was little. Like, how wrong is that? Like, I'm pretty sure everyone of the people that called her fat is, like, kicking herself, they're kicking themselves in the ass now because of how she recovered from that. She became, like, pretty much huge. She's an amazing singer and amazing actor, and she's gorgeous. Like, sure, she cut herself when she was 11. She started, which is crazy. Like, I started when I was, how old? 17, 18? Like, I can imagine being her, cutting myself when I was 11. Like, that's just really, really young. And, um, so, you never know what that person's gonna turn out to be in life. And right now, like, because I'm insecure myself where I was, and I still am kind of inside, but I'm learning how to adapt to it more that I'm getting older. Like, I still have the insecurities, like, are, do they know, do they know? Like, are they talking about me? Because that's how I was in the past, you know? I can't be myself around people because I'm afraid that they might be talking about me or they might be saying stuff about me. Like, I still have the insecurities like that. I have to stop that, but it's like hard for me to actually be myself around people unless I really know them and get to know them. So if I'm just like, if you see me, I'm quiet and just like to myself, then that's why. And you have to come up to me because I really don't go up to people because I'm scared that they might be like, who the hell is this and why are they talking to me kind of thing. So that's really all I wanted to say, just stop the bullying because it really hurts someone. And you, you don't know what that person is getting, going through and what she is or he has in life. Like, I guess check out my other videos and I hope you like this one and spread the word if you want doesn't matter like this is pretty much me who I am and I showed you me without makeup which I never do With, without makeup without hair I never do that I would never but I figured it's for the video for bullying so I'll give you all insights me without makeup me with makeup without hair me with makeup with hair so this way of like the, the final touches. But say so like you can really tell like how much people try to be perfect for someone, what they were look like and what they are now. But I'm gonna end it now. So like I said, like tell people about it. I hope you liked it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hurt right, ya. Yeah. <laughs>